Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that you give a damn to watch. Anyways, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about the top five powder boards for 2022, 2023. That's right, you wanna go smash the white stuff? You like railing white lines? Well, here you go. Number five, the Rosinol Sashimi. You got taper, setback, cam rocker, all coming together in a medium volume shifted shell so that you float better. It's good in low angle, it's okay in super steep angle. You might want something a little more beefy, I'm not gonna lie there. But for most of you riding resorts, this is a great powder board for you. That shape is gonna cause the snow to funnel out to the side, the tail's gonna sink, and you're gonna be able to drive from that camber back through the rocker to keep it going and do what you need to do. It's damp where it counts, yet still lively enough that you can bust out a little hit off a side hit if you have to, or jib a log if you're in the trees. Number four, the Yes Pick Your Line DCP Unink. Not the regular Pick Your Line, the Unink version. It's wider, it's just a better board. It floats better, you can feel that taper in there with the tail sinking. If you get into firmer snow, it's gonna grip, but the way that this board floats, you just want to just charge through pow, pop off everything, throw a 180 nose butter, pop it right back around, spray some skiers, and keep on going. This board is actually very underrated, and I promised myself that I was not gonna forget to recommend this to people, and yet I've already found myself forgetting to recommend it to people. So I figure if I put it on this list, it's in your collective consciousness, and now you're considering it. This board is an absolute dream to ride. Number three, the Rome Ravine Select. Not the regular Ravine, the Select. You get the flax walls in there as well as the flax impact plates, which creates a more damp ride. This helps you push that nose through choppier terrain and keep you on top of it. You've got a 3D shaping in the nose that helps funnel that snow to the side. So when you're just planing in lower angle pow, you feel that snow going out to the side. You see it going out to the side. You know that you're gonna be able to hold your speed longer in the flat. It's great in trees. The camber profile lends itself to getting a lot of pop, whether you're launching off a side hit or you're just porpoising through fresh snow. Number two, the K2 Excavator. It did get a little change this year with the new core and I haven't ridden it with the new core, but from my understanding, it should just stiffen it up just a hair to give you a little more power when you drive off the tail. The shape of this board really lends itself for optimal float, but if you find yourself having to cut around the resort, to get to the chairlift to get after the goods. You can still rail a turn with it. It's got power where you want, but it's not so domineering that you have to be with your A game at all times. Also, it's a medium volume shift, so you can slightly downsize about two to four centimeters on it, and you're still gonna get optimal float. Honorable mentions, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. The Endeavor Archetype. I've owned two, I got a third one on the way, but it's been on this list for years and people are like, hey, come on, you gotta move on with it. I love the way this board rides. I love that hover camber. You can feel that rocker elevate the nose and it just floats so well. It's great in that light Colorado snow that I get to test everything in. The swallowtail is functional, but not so dominant that you can't ride switch on it. Like I said, own two, got a third on the way, but I wanted to just make way for other boards on this list. The LibTech Arca, because if I didn't put this on the list, a whole pod of little angry fishermen would come after me with their orcas and stab me in the ankles in the lift line. And we can't have that. We can't. It's a good board. It's not great. I'm not gonna lie. But everyone will sit here and tell you how good it is, so why the hell not put it in the honorable mentions? That way I can put an affiliate link to it and maybe make some cash off these people. You know who you are. The Battalion Surfer. Originally, I wanted to put this on my powder gun list, but it doesn't come above a 62, so it's just not big enough. But deep ass swallowtail, 3BT in the nose that helps funnel that snow out to the side. You got just a board that it's damp underfoot, but you can feel that tail has a liveliness, so when it sinks, you can really flex that swallowtail, and that'll help bring the nose up, and then you can porpoise along, and then when you throw up a spray, you just get that shooting out of powder coming from the tail. Once again, great board. Just barely didn't crack the top five, like the rest of them on this list. All solid, but hey, sometimes you don't get to take the prom queen home and banger. 
And the number one powder board for 2022, 2023 is the Capita Navigator. I got on this board and I was blown away with how it rode. You could just feel those inlaid cork dampeners in there doing their job, absorbing that kinetic energy. It was solid when I was slashing, even when I was in choppy terrain. It is a little bit softer than some of the other ones on this list, but it floats super well. It holds its speed in the flats. It did well in super steep terrain, as well as in really tight, steep trees. Overall, it did remind me of riding my Endeavor archetype, but with a solid tail instead of a swallow tail, which just means that I had more power out of a turn. So when I was really banking and going up and high marking on the sides of cat tracks and whatnot, as I was cutting around a basin, it did what it had to do. Great powder board, don't sleep on it. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. This has been my top five powder boards for 2022, 2023. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.